Press the play button to listen to this article voiced by artificial intelligence. Jamie Detmer is opinion editor at Politico Europe. Europe and Ukraine got a bad preview last week of what a second Donald Trump presidency in the United States would be like. As the former president's polling numbers remain high among likely Republican voters. The number of GOP lawmakers who oppose continuing to help Ukraine defend itself despite mounting legal troubles and criminal charges has also increased. And thanks those lawmakers. The U.S. House and Senate had no choice but cancel $6 billion in military aid Ukraine as a temporary measure prevent a government shutdown, fearing the wrath of their constituents. Such political shocks and convulsions will only increase as the U.S. presidential elections progress. In earnest. That is. Of course. If congressional Republicans have the legislative authority to carry them out. And like moths drawn aflame. More and more people will want to hover near Trump's light. Hoping capitalize on it for their own electoral benefit. Far from being a ghost of the past. The former president haunts Ukraine's present. But even though the amendment failed, the opposition displayed a Trumpian disdain for promises made to allies. Trump himself, of course, showed great indifference to the fate of Ukraine's territorial integrity and insisted that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and Russian President Vladimir Putin reach an agreement saying he could end the war within 24 hours. This actually means that Moscow will reach an agreement, retain part of Ukraine and restart the war when appropriate. Meanwhile, he is encouraging GOP caucus to cut off funding to Ukraine on grounds that President Joe Biden puts Ukraine first, and America last. Trump has a much bigger appeal here than in Kiev showing limits of even Zelensky's star power and persuasive artistry, fearing that these could suddenly upset apple cart. Ukraine has been lobbying Republican lawmakers for months. This burgeoning rebellion at the GOP convention is a sobering reflection of how lawmakers are more interested in clinching votes and winning Trump's approval than saving Ukrainian lives. To them. It seems irrelevant how Russia's success or defeat in Ukraine will define the future of global security. And this cutback in American funding is now encouraging Europeans to think and plan for Trump's possible return to the White House. To date, they have often chosen to look away and hope for best, pushing the possibility of disruption that such a return would bring to back of their minds. Meanwhile, big questions are how quickly the Biden administration can restore funding and what damage any deficit would do to Ukraine's war effort before White House twists congressional arms far from being a ghost of the past. The former president haunts Ukraine's present Kenna Betancur AFP via Biden said Sunday that he fully expects Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy to stop the games a uh, 